The way I'm eating now is not only meant to help me lean out and gain a little bit of muscle, but it's also meant to improve how I'm feeling mentally over the course of the month. Also, I hate cooking. I suck at it. I'm lazy in the kitchen. So this isn't going to be one of those videos where it looks like a chef prepared the meal. So if you're in need of quick, easy, but tasty recipes or meal ideas, you've come to the right place. All right, so first thing that I eat is a protein shake. I wake up at 4 a.m., so I don't wake up hungry, but I also don't like to go hours with no fuel for my body and my brain. So that's where the protein shake really comes in handy. Just a little something. And I freaking love this flavor. I've shown this in other videos before, but if you're someone who doesn't like regular tasting, like, you know, that protein powder taste, try this because it literally tastes like juice. I'm gonna drink this and I'll see you at my next meal. <laughs> so right now we're gonna have my first meal, which is the eggies and egg whites and veggies. So I make this really, really easy. I have everything pre-portioned out. So that way I just dump everything on a pan, leave it, put a timer and then go on with my life. So this also makes two meals. That's the very, that's the cool part of this. That this is like first breakfast and then I save some later for like a lunch slash second breakfast type thing. Woohoo! Something to know about me, if you haven't watched my eating videos before is that I am very lazy in the kitchen. So anything to make things easier and quicker with as little cooking as possible is what I like. Okay, so what I do now is I just I take two eggs and I just put them on the plate and then obviously I leave the rest on here for later. Next, we put toast in the microwave. So this is a protein, protein bread. It's, this is only in Canada. Everyone always asks about it. It's Blue Menu PC. So if you're from Canada, you can find it in like Loblaws stores. If you're not, I would say just look in like the bread section or like the health section and you'll find something similar. It's not like insanely high in protein. Ouch. Especially if you're someone who struggles to hit protein, just having little things like this that just add like little bits of protein here and there, it's gonna add up. Protein! So now I've added my avocado to my toast. Ah. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more salt, like I'll have to taste it first, because I like it salty. And then I just put as much as I can on each piece of toast. What is it that you really like to do? Eat. <laughs> and then I save the rest for the side. Voila! Yummy! So for all my my meals, I typically like, I like to make sure I'm like sitting, enjoying them, not too distracted. Because for a lot of my life, it's been the opposite. Like I'll be like, oh my gosh, like let's just wolf this down as fast as possible so we move on with the day, blah, 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 blah. And I'm always just like running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So lately I've been trying to like, chew more, eat slower, enjoy the meal. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. He's pawing at me. He's pawing at me. He wants my food. That's healthy breakfast. Oh. A little bit of pepper to be and a little bit of pepper to walk. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. I originally started my fitness journey to lose weight and look a certain way, but it obviously, it, it didn't take too long to realize that there was a big impact on mental health as well. But that's not to say, I know some people act like, some people will be like, oh, I struggled with mental health. Then I started working out and it all went away and everything was amazing. Like for me, it's definitely not like that. I've still, I've still struggled quite a bit with mental health. I've been on, medi I'm still on medications for it, but I do still believe that you can optimize your nutrition and your training and everything to support because I notice a big difference. Like some some days, if I eat too much sugar, the next day I feel not as good. Like I feel more anxious and negative and not like because of the, the chocolate or the sweet or whatever. I'm not like, oh my God, I ate so I'm anxious, but it's like my brain just feels different. I still love eating those things, but I do find that if I can keep it to a minimum and really focus on getting the nutrient dense things, the olive oil, the avocado, the veggies, the seeds, all that good stuff, that's more so my focus now than just the calories and protein. Ba, 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 na, na. Ba, 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 na, 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 oh. na, na.
I'm gonna be working out in about 45-ish minutes to an hour. So you don't wanna work out on a heavy stomach, like a full stomach, cause you'll just feel crappy and low energy. But then you also, or at least I don't like to work out too long after a meal though. So like, I don't wanna be getting really hungry and lethargic to the end of my workout. So in comes the banana. And I have got a little Baxter here who would really like some banana. Banana! Tiny piece of banana. Good, Mr. Bean. Don't mind my sweat marks, by the way. I have very sweaty armpits all the time. Okay, so I've just finished my workout and now it's time for my next meal, which is also the leftover portion of the eggs from breakfast. But it's kind of more so like a lunch. I don't really look at my meals as like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's like meal one, meal two, meal three, you know. I don't know if this sounds weird. My mom thinks it's weird. I think it's delicious. But with my eggs, egg whites, and veggies, I put quinoa in it. And then I also add some olive oil and avocado and it's so good. And also the quinoa I use is a fat fast 10 minute quinoa. So I prepare, I like I cook the whole box on one day and then obviously I have it rest, oops, ready for the rest of the week. And it's funny because I started eating it a couple months ago when I wanted to add more variety of foods. And I had like a super old one in the cupboard. It was five years old, but I was like, I'm pretty sure this is fine because it's a dry food. So I ate it and it was delicious. And now I've been eating it ever since. It's all on the plate. Now we put it in the microwave. To the microwave, people. Needs to go longer. <laughs> okay, it's good. Oh, yeah, it's good. I've got Roxy, my little lunch partner. And then the last thing we do is add avocado. I have avocado at practically every meal because I am just, it just, it's just such a nice addition to every meal. Like, it just complements everything so nicely. And here is the finished product. Me and Lil Roxy are gonna enjoy this. One thing I've started recently doing is rotating through different carb sources throughout the month. Quinoa, that's one obviously, and I thoroughly enjoy it. Sweet potato, lentils. I actually, I haven't had those in like years, but that's another one I could have. Um, different types of beans. And this is to get a variety of nutrients to just improve my overall health, which connects to your mental health as well. Like I said, that's partially why, or that is why I wanna have more variety of foods just to hopefully my brain will be like, yes, we like these nutrients, we love it. And there's some other types of foods I rotate as well, which I'll go over in one of my next meals coming up. I feel a million times better after eating that. I used to just eat like a couple really big meals throughout the day and it was okay, but I found that my brain, it kind of affected. So I feel like sometimes if I notice my mood is starting to dip, even though I might not actually feel hungry, having some food fixes it. And I don't necessarily mean like, oh, emotionally eating, you know, but I mean eating some healthy food, especially because I had just worked out, is gonna like replenish, give you energy, make you feel better. So yeah, that's what that did. But there's one more thing. There's one more thing that I like to add sometimes to round off, finish off the meal. When it comes to incorporating foods you love in moderation, certain things for certain people, like you're gonna have more self-control. For me, for some reason, chocolate chips, there's zero self-control. All self-control goes out the window. But meanwhile, those squares of chocolate, while I still thoroughly love them, like I just have more self-control. I don't know what it is. There's something that you just know, like this food is like, you're like, that food is my biggest weakness. Almost all the time when I have it, I overindulge. Then maybe try and find like a little, like a different variation of it or something. I'm in love. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. got our salad. Now, typically on Sundays, I usually cut up veggies and put it in Tupperwares in individual serving sizes for salads, but I didn't do that this week because I didn't feel like it. Today, I'm sitting here. I mean, it's still really, again, pretty quick and easy to make. So yeah, I have my spinach, carrots. This is my hack if I don't cut them up in advance. I just cut them with my, oops. Oh, for the dogs. I just cut them with my teeth. So if you hate cutting up your veggies and you forget to meal prep, you can do this with carrots. You can't do this with everything. Like I don't think this would work with like cucumbers. <laughs> Oops. 
my mother's rolling her eyes at me. Now sometimes I'll, I'll vary my veggies to get different nutrients and things like that. Then we've got some tomato. We have sauerkraut. This is something I recently started eating and I do enjoy it. That's the thing, like I would never add something in if I didn't like it. But yeah, it's good for your gut health and has some benefits for hormones as well. Only certain times though, not all the time. Next, we've got our sunflower seeds. These and flax seeds I eat, and then I switch between these and flax seeds, and then sesame seeds and sunflower seeds. So when it's something a little bit more calorie dense, at least until you get more familiar with what it looks like, you want to weigh it or at least measure it. So that's 15 grams. I'm gonna take a little bit more because these are really good. Then I add my tuna. These are so good. I think out of, out of flax seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds and pumpkin seeds, which are actually roasted pepitas, unsalted. Oh, it's little Baxter. These ones are the, th I love these, they're really good. Now I actually prefer it when I prepare this in Tupperware in advance because then you can shake it with the um, dressing. Shake, shake, shake your salad, shake it really well. Shake, shake, shake your salad, shake it all the time. Woo, but I didn't do it. So it's not going to be as nicely distributed. Not even close. Might add avocado again. No, actually I'm not because later on, I'm gonna be using olive oil in some popcorn. So we're gonna save those fats for then. This is my salad. I'm gonna eat it now. Mmm. So good. The next food that I cycle throughout the month are seeds. So I got this information from the book In the Flow by Elisa Vitti, and it's just meant to help balance your hormones, which can help with a ton of different things. But for me specifically, I was interested in it for the mental health benefits. So what I do is within my cycle, and by cycle, I mean women, people who get their periods, they have, there's like a 28-ish day cycle and there's four phases. In the first two phases, I will stick to i'm just reading the notes because i'm not deaf i'm definitely not an expert on this area of stuff like when it comes to the fat loss and the protein and the building muscles i'm an expert but when it comes to like the hormone aspect i'm just dipping my toes in here so yeah anyways so the flaxseed and the pumpkin seeds they reduce excess estrogen and the pumpkin seeds are high in zinc which is gonna set the stage for progesterone production as you get closer to your period so you want you want that <laughs> you want the progesterone production. Um, and then the second half of my cycle, I switch and I have sesame seeds and sunflower seeds. These also help with your hormonal levels and support liver, liver detoxification. I've only been implementing this for a couple of months now. I'd say like two months maybe, but I, I have seen improvements in my mood and how I feel over the month. Something is working. And for this, I figured like it's adding in seeds. So there's not really any reason not to try it out. It's not like something insane or I'm not like, oh, eat seeds all day. Like, no, I add it in my salad or like whatever. So it's really yummy and something that's worth trying. Pepita, 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 pepita. Also, I have a video all about how I fluctuate my workouts over the month according to my cycle, and that is gonna be linked above as well as in the description box below. And if you would like me to do a full video more focused on that as well, how I fluctuate my calories um, and more of like my different types of foods, let me know. Greek yogurt. Black seed. I always put frozen fruit in my Greek yogurt. So today it's a berry cherry medley. Baxter would really like some berry cherry medley. And here's the finished product. Usually I put like an exciting carb with it, like sometimes a cereal or chocolate chips. But today I wanted to have a little bit less sugar because yesterday I had a so I didn't want to have a lot of chocolate chips again today. I just had, I just stuck with my little square. Wait, my little square of this, or I had two squares, but I'm gonna still have a fun carb source after this. Air pop popcorn. Here's the kernels, then you pour them in here. I'm 
having a little bit less olive oil than I planned because I had an extra one of these. So instead, I'm like, I'm still having some olive oil, but to make up for what I didn't have, I'm gonna have some cooking spray on the popcorn. This is still a little bit of calories technically, so you wouldn't want to like drench it in. Otherwise, you might as well just use butter. I mean, a little bit of butter is okay in moderation. Okay, that's a little excessive, but that's okay. We added it in. Oh, I almost forgot a really good ingredient. This clubhouse Parmesan, it's like, does have the real cheese in it, but it's like very, again, it says zero calories, but technically that's not true because eventually you would get some calories out of this, but you can still put quite a bit of this on and it has like a nice cheesy flavor and it tastes beautiful. Oh, that's quite a bit I did there. Now I'm trying to film myself adding seasoning. It never goes well. This is so good and it's not that many calories considering it's like a decent sized bowl. So if you are someone who likes snacking on things and you're trying to keep the calories down, popcorn is your answer. All right, and that is going to conclude this video. Stay tuned for next week's video where I'll be answering the question, how long does it take to lose weight without cutting carbs? Mm -hmm. So check out some of my other videos in the meantime, and I will see you next Friday. Bye.